Hello good people and welcome to Transport Fever 2. Playing about with the volume a little for the background music. I think that's about right. I should have checked. Um, anyway, actually no, I'm going to turn it up a little. I just watched back the first episode and thought, hmm, we could do slightly better than that. A bit more music because it's nice music. So, Transport Fever 2, episode 2 of this Let's Play. Hello! Hmm, am I happy with where that camera is? Yeah, it's left to do. Am I? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, good. So, hello, um, I am Dr. Clumber and I am playing Transport Fever 2. This is a Let's Play, and we have just started, and it's already going well. The uh, lovely named Boomel is running online between Heer Hugewaard, Deventer, Kerkrade, and back to Deventer. And it's already earning me quite a decent amount of money. Which is great. Ah, yes, I was playing with that sound. That's what I was doing. Um, which is great. I'm really excited about the fact that we're already making money. Now, it doesn't show in the account yet. But, I think in the start of episode 1, I discussed that um, I didn't want a loan bigger than 13, 14 million to begin with. That's to set everything up. And as this train is already running at a profit, I'm probably able to borrow a bit more than that. So it's time to look at our options and opportunities. And there's quite a lot. Uh, that's why we picked here for that. I think the most logical step is to start on the industry. So we have this opportunity here, which is really straightforward to build. Because, gosh, guess what? I planned the route brilliantly. We have that line there already. And it means a bit of doubling up and a few passing places. But actually, this is probably the best way to start making a profit quickly. We might even get to three stations already and include the tools factory. Which would be really awesome because, yeah, that would, that would just kickstart a hell of a lot of stuff. But we do need to start making a bit more profit. Let's see what Boomel does on the way down to Hirugewaard. Uh, I was a bit generous. I was thinking they would get five, six, seven hundred on this run, but I think it's going to be four hundred. Let's see, Bull, hurry up a bit because I could do with the money. Um, I could borrow the money straight away. I might do. Normally, I like only building trains with borrowed money because then at least at some point I can pay it back because the train should be running a profit. So I would like Bull. Let's speed up time a bit. I would like Bull to bring me to at least a blue or the green uh, before I start. 900,000. And look at the number of people there. I think Boomel might already be due an upgrade. I don't think I can because I'm not sure Daventer will spawn enough yet. Oh, look at that. Yes, Boomel is due an upgrade. Oh, wow. That's a lot quicker than I expected. Um... That might mean I have to either double up Boomel, so create a second train on the same line and run that for a bit, or just expand the capacity of Boomel. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And like I said earlier, I only like buying trains with borrowed money. We'll see how much money he gets going into Dave. I call him he. Boomel is like a dark name in the Netherlands uh, as well as trains, and therefore. I don't know, it's just a boy's name, it might be. Um, so, even if you are supposed to call trains, she, Boomel, is a he for me. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Keep dropping those pronouns, absolutely brilliant. Right, Boomel, Boomel does cost a bit as well. You can see how quickly that's sticking down. I know we're running at fast speed, so that's all that can happen, but... Yeah, but look at that, another three-quarter million. You know what? We're immediately adding a wagon. We now have the Donnerbusje, which uh, has as advantage that it's, um, it's heavier and you can fit three more people in. To be fair, no, not interested. Let's add, oh, right, let's keep the clock running. Let's see what he does going to get it these, these passengers, I, I mentioned it in episode 1, early on these wagons are the, the thing that makes the train really expensive, you don't realize. Uh, well, I don't realize, 
nice, I don't think about it, but they're the ones that really add cost to the whole thing. So he's running two Kedagrade. Might need to go back as well, because like I said, my money is running down quickly. Uh, yep. Modify, click. Bull now looks as follows. Yes, because I didn't paint that wagon. And actually, I find that quite characteristic. That is typical of a little stop train in the Netherlands. Bit of character, no graffiti, but that'll do. So, Boomel expanded, excellent news. Um, because we could fit more than that 42 or whatever it was carrying. So, yeah, that's really good. I'm very happy with that. We could fit in more people, that should increase the amount of profit. Um, let's see. 400, that's a short run. I don't understand the difference quite. It seems to me, frankly, that the game is quite erratic at deciding what the profit is, but there is a calculation, I'm sure. And I think it's to do with the time spent on the line and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go into it. I want to start planning out a proper industrial line. Now, I have two options. One is to create a one train system that takes trees, yeah, timber, whatever they call it in here, uh, logs, yes, that makes sense, logs, and puts it in the sawmill, and then the sawmill creates planks, and then a that same train takes them all the way back to the tool factory. The advantage of doing that, in this case, for this particular industry, is that all the goods, if you like, except for the tools, will fit on a flat car. So you can fit your logs on, you can fit your planks on. So that train running up and down, up and down, doesn't need any other cards at all. It just needs this one. Um, and this goes at 80 kilometers. I could run the little tiddlywinkers at 50 kilometers, which is cheaper. And actually, if you look at this, so the 50 kilometers and only take four, but they cost less than 20,000 a year and less than 120 to buy. These cost 370 and cost 60 through two only for double capacity. But they are also loading quicker, which is actually worth something in transport for cargo, and they run quicker. And the thing I don't want to do is create a situation whereby Boomel is going to be stuck behind the freight train all the time, trying to get by uh, without being able to. So that freight train should have some speed. So that's my reasoning here. Um, and I need to decide how I'm going to run that freight train as well. So the first thing I need to check, uh, that road has to stay active. I'm going to build that road around whilst I still have some money. Around, oh God, wow, really? For a bit of road, are you kidding me? That's expensive road, that is. I don't have a cheaper option, I don't think. No, that's more expensive. No, it's slightly cheaper. But it's a small country road. It's a small street that does 20 kilometers an hour. Frankly, cutting off the supply of the road is beneficial because, um, well, it happens to be that I run a passenger service and this road is the only connection between Heerl and Deventer and Heerl and Gouard. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't cut it completely, right? That's, that'd be the game on like that. Um, but yeah, they need this road to get to all these places. And if I make it that slow, going uphill as well, <laughs> then it'll slow down the number of cars and transport goods that can come up and down that road that aren't controlled by me. So uh, yeah, 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 I like my sneaky thinking there. We should be getting some money. Boomel's not arrived yet, I don't know where he is out there. I keep forgetting in the early game I need to run at fast speed because frankly, if you don't, everything takes ages and ages and ages. But we have got a good amount of people waiting. Boomel is definitely going to be very profitable. So that's good, that is very advantageous. Now I think I already said 1 million ladies and gentlemen. 1 million. I already said that I don't want to spend money on uh, borrow money for anything other than trains. That's just a sort of rule of thumb I have. Uh, I'm bound to break it now that I've said that. 
But yeah, that's the, the baseline is do not spend money on anything other than trains. That's one. Now we can put all that away. I might as well get rid of all of it. I don't think that actually costs me any money. So that's fine. Good. Now, in terms of length of track, I need to think as well. The longer the distance between these two, the bigger my profit margin. And actually, because they're on the same line in as the watts here, it doesn't really matter where I place the station. All I need to make sure is it connects to this. So I am going to pick a cargo station. Um, um, I'm going to go 240 straight away because these logs. I click the wrong button. I always do that. These logs really tick on. They will fill up in no time. I'm going to build it there. Nice and snug on the main line. Again, at some point that will probably change. I'll need to edit the route or whatever. But for now, that's brilliant. And we get a little, uh, little road connection. So we get what Colonel Philia calls the tendrils. The tendrils. These little blue lines are really important. And that means that this station is almost ready to collect trees. We are going to add some track. Uh, like that. Yes. I started recording this episode. Am I double tracking straight away? I might do. I started recording this episode and then uh, I got uh, a knock on the door. My wife came in to say that the estate agent are up. And we're trying to sell our house. It's all very exciting. I think the call came during the first episode. Um, it's all very exciting, but it's also so bloody slow. But at least in the current lockdown, uh, they're back to work and hopefully they'll be able to achieve something for us. Now I can't build this yet because we have to wait for Boomble to make more millions but we're going to have a look at how this station would fit in. Um, this is a drop off and collect so one track, uh, yeah one, one platform will do. I might already have to change this line a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah Unless, ah, no, uh, I fit it in like that, even a bit further up, and then I can just loop it in there, yeah, that's the best one. Um, yeah, that'll work best. We need Bumble to make, oh, we now need him to make 500, 700, oh, look at that, <laughs> oh, dearie me, this is too easy. I started on easy, so that's probably my own fault. Um, I'm sure that would have taken a lot longer had I made it more difficult for myself. That's going to cost 30. Where's my... There's the depot. I'll need to find a way to get the, the goods train on there as well. So that'll need a loop back, because otherwise it's saying, oh, I don't know where I'm going. There is a trick around that I could, could just put it on the boomer line and then turn it around manually. Uh, and that'll work just as fine. Wow, look at that. It is raking it in. Boomel is not about mucking about at the moment. I might not even need to borrow money to buy the train. At this rate, I've slowed the game pace down a bit. Uh, just so I have time to think and plan. So we have... We've actually already connected this, right? It's already connected. Downhill and uphill. Now, with this money coming in, that might not be the best idea. Genuinely. Yeah. I think what we're going to do... I do want to be on that side of the line, and that crossing might as well happen here. So, we're going to keep that bit in. But then we're going to come down. Where the hell is that box there? Then we're going to come straight off. Like that. And we're going to keep the tempo up, even though this is going to be a freight line. Like that. And then we just follow this down. And the one thing about this game that I didn't get in the beginning, and I don't know if that's different from Transport FIFA, um, or maybe it's the difficulty setting, but the track is really cheap to build. So 100,000 for a good length, especially when you double it up like I'm doing here, is, you know, affordable. Um, and that's something to keep in mind when you start the game. It's very tempting to keep everything very close to each other because you've got 
um, you want to make sure that you you know you don't overspend. But actually, there's benefit in going further. So just something to keep in mind. Now, at some point, I would want to loop this into Erugewaard. So putting the station on this side will be too uh, tight, right? I can't make that bend. If I put it here, that sounds as I can. So we're going to get another one of these. And at the moment, this is going to be a one tracker, but this could well become a two tracker over time. Oh, we've got the hill thing again. And there's nothing I can do. Okay, this is just going to cost money. 460. Right. Where is Bumble? I don't know. Train! He's loading up. Okay, we'll speed up a bit. Oh, he's just arrived. We'll slow down again. Um, yes. So we're going to fit this here. We know we want to add another track and platform. So we're going to keep some space. Because I want that track and platform to be on the right hand side to go back to here and that. So that's that, um, and that, that cost an immediate jump, so we are going to speed up the game anyway. Let's see where Boomel is. Boomeltje. Look at that. That's, I think that's yearly income. That's really positive. So, yeah, our little train is having a wheel of a time. I might even add another car to it. This train can certainly pull it uh, in terms of weight. So that's something to consider. Mm -hmm. I do like the color scheme. That blue and black suits it. And I like the art card at the end as well. That's good. So yeah, we should be getting a decent chunk of money. It does cost a lot to run. You can see how quickly my account runs down. So when we started watching this, it was showing at 2 million. I've realized that this is probably under my face, so I'll put it here, so you can see it. Um, but this number here was at 2 and a bit million when we started, and now it's down to a million. And now it's going to go boom, back to 2 and a bit million. So, it's not a cheap train to run. Um, but, in terms of uh, return on investment, I don't think I could have built it better. And it's going up this hill now with an extra card. Just keeping an eye on it. It went 74. Yeah. It's still doing the same speed. So in terms of attractive effort. Oh, oh safe. Uh, in terms of attractive effort. And ability to get up the hill. It's, it's lost a bit of speed. Do I worry about adding another card? This is the slowest part of the track. 67. It might drop down to 60 at that point, uh, which will cost me a bit of money in the long term because passengers get there slower. But at the same time, adding another card is going to really boost the number of passengers. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I was doing a job. I need to connect this. Now again, this is not going to be cheap. I had not foreseen how steep this bit was. In fact, this could be a major issue. Oh... Dogs biscuits. How am I gonna fix that? This is a major issue because I can't make that. I can't climb quick enough. I don't think I get a refund for the station either. Um, and even if I did, I wouldn't know how to fix it. Oh, that's 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 frustrating. In that case, we're going to go down and then come round and go up. And the the angle is a problem, right? So, ooh, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not the ideal angle. Too much slope there. But at least it gets us out. Um, that's going to be an issue coming down as well. But hey, -ho, we'll have to go there. At least we've got out of being stuck on the ground. Um, it's not the most ideal situation, to put it mildly. But Boomel is just raking in. Look at it. We're already back at a million again, just after building that. So we need some signals here. We want to make sure that the freight train has to wait longer than the passenger train here. So that certainly gets the signals, but there's no signals elsewhere on the line. 
So if I don't put signals in for the passenger train, it's going to delay it. So we're going to put a signal here and somewhere down the stream. So basically what that does is when the freight train is crossing, ooh, do I want it there? No, I don't want it there. I don't want it there. Because now it has to start up on the hill and that's not very useful. We just established that, where the hell is it? We just established that this is the slowest part of the track and we don't really want it to have to stop when it's still going up. That's not great for tractive effort. So what we're going to do instead, where does it flatten out? Here. We put it here. And then it can just curve around. So what this should do in theory is whenever the, the freight train is on this short piece of track between these two signals, the boomel will have to stop either all the way back here or at the top of the hill but if boomel is past this at any point the freight train won't be able to get out it will have to wait for the passenger train to come by and that means that the passenger train gets a nice speedy um, connection if you like it, it gets uh, right away in a way uh, over the freight train good so we are cooking on gas here we've got a million in the bank already and we've got bubble running around like a uh, predator making me money all the time and the other thing that's actually quite advantageous is i don't know i think in episode one i explained why i wanted a fast passenger train freight train you know it doesn't need to be fast it doesn't need to be very slow but it still needs to get up this hill so it does need a bit of run but i don't need it to be a ferrari so that means that we might be able to put together a train that's a bit cheaper than originally anticipated i am am i going to build that loop no i am going to do the trick now nah, you know what we'll build it we've got money for it um mm -hmm. Yes, where did it go? Mm -hmm. Need to be a bit careful with the hills and stuff here. Oh, I'm regretting this already. But hey, you know, there we go. Um, yes, okay. We'll do it legit. So, whenever, I don't want it to be go going back there, but whenever it passes, this signal is that how long a train is then this will become opened up for whatever's coming down we will put a signal either way of that and then here it can connect it doesn't need to be quick come on it's coming out of a depot on an angle of nothing and it's not allowed to go anywhere um, unless this signal has been passed or the train's back uh, on its way to Heru Gewaard. And then... Um, oh, the phone's ringing again. It's been not stop today. I don't know who that is. Um, we'll leave it. And then uh, here a connection just to put it... Uh... Yeah, we'll have to, I think. Um, I'm, I'm pausing because I don't want the freight train to get on this part of the line. I don't want it to think, uh, the passenger train. I don't want Boomel to come down here and think, oh, look, I can drive on the right. So that means that I have to also add a signal. Haha, -ha, there's a lot to think about in this game, I can tell you. So I don't want it to drive. Yeah, it needs to be there. No, 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 no. Doing it the wrong way. I don't want it to come down, I want it to come down this side. So this symbol needs to point that way. Yeah, we will get that, we will get that. Uh, Boomel. Alright, let's pull you over again. I will become consistent in that at some point. Oh, I clicked away the button I needed. From Deventer to uh, Heru Gewaard, it needs to add... Oh, it's actually not doing it. Oh, well, in that case, we're just wasting money. Uh, we'll leave the, the signal anyway, but yeah. Right, so. 
I think we're nearly there. I think we've got something cooking. We can borrow money for this train, but I want to see how much it costs first. So it has to be steam because we're in 1920. Oh no, because we are in Europe. And in Europe you get access to, and all my track is electric already. In Europe you get access to the Crocodile very early on. And it does 75 kilometers an hour and has decent power. And it costs 6 million and a million to run. So, die Crocodile, that's not going to happen. The best steam train we have available to us costs half that. And... Um, yeah, so there's no comparison. <coughs> there probably is in terms of power, attractive effort, blah, blah, blah. But no, that's not worth it. Now, I could stick on another one of these, but it's possibly too expensive for this line. I could put on two of these, right? So this is 5, 18, 85, 2, 13, 40. I could put on two of those for the price of that, but be limited to 40 kilometers an hour. But this isn't where the problem is, as we've discussed in the previous episode. Actually, it was in this episode, I can't remember. These cars, uh, which one do I need to take, are a hell of a lot cheaper, a hell of a lot cheaper and lighter than these. Right? They are slower, but I don't mind that. So, because we've got a whole separate line, I'm going to start off with one of these. And, and I'm keeping an eye here where it says excellent. Ideally, I want to keep it at good at the minimum. Hello. There we go. So we have a capacity of 52 with a lot of little wagons and a little train. And it's only going to cost us less than two and a half. Just leaving Bumble running would get us there, but we're going to give it a bit of a push. There we go. Boom. Bye. Hatsuke day. Train 2. And we haven't built the line yet, but I've already decided. It's going to be chopping trees. And I'm actually, this is something that I was going to talk about in a bit more detail. My naming conventions, which are rubbish, really rubbish. I need to work on that a lot. Uh, but I'm going to use color coding. So blue for passenger and um, green and other colors for cargo, different types of cargo. I don't quite know how it'll work yet, but we will get somewhere. I'm going to call this, um, oh, let's think about the name of convention. I would say this is a Heer Hugo Baat tools line. So Heer Hugo Baat tools, and then we're going to call it supply. Now the train that comes out of this, I think I've seen uh, Colonel Fillier. If you don't, haven't seen Colonel Fillier, watch him, he's awesome. Uh, but the that double slash, and it just looks fancy. So we'll steal that off him and we said it was going to be green. Forest green, there we go. Right, so now let's find out where Boomle is. Okay, I think my little train has just enough time to get out without upsetting him. Might be wrong. No, let's wait till he's passed. So we're going to run the clock a bit quicker. Maybe even pay off that loan I just took. Who knows? Um, I saw it earlier, didn't I? Where is it now? Huh? Ah, there, yes. Right, we'll wait till that is, has left Avatar um, and is going to get it better. Da -da 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 -da. It's a beautiful game. I mean, yeah, okay, it's not the most high fidelity game. I play this uh, when I don't stream it. I play it on high settings and it's just, it's gorgeous. It is so good. Um, we're playing on medium-ish settings now, which is fine as well. You know, this, this game isn't about the graphics, but when you want to, when you seek them out, the opportunities for some really good, uh, not like that graphical features if you like it back to normal speed because we know that this uh, will trap him and then we can say you go there off you go and now we should see him come out and boom will come past oh yes camera work oh yes mm -hmm. so there's boom will. it's 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 no competition one is pretty and the other is not. 
it's not exactly the fastest race, but it is a bit of a race. But this train is going to have to wait. There we go. Vroom. I say vroom. It's, it's, it's doing 80 kilometers an hour. It looks like it's a lot slow. But let, that, let's not spoil the fun. Uh, excuse me, I paid good money for these guards and you're already rusty? I didn't know that was how it worked, but hey ho. Right, so this little train is now on its way and I don't know which stop it's going to go first. Probably the wrong one, but it doesn't matter. We're going to speed up again and have a look at how this train is going to get to its freight line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that million that I borrowed, pay half of it off. I think we might actually be able to pay off the debt quite soon and run a no debt game quite quickly, which is good. Um, there is a, a, an achievement where you don't borrow any money. I could have made this game into that achievement, but then I feel it's sort of cheating because I'm playing on easy mode. So yeah, let's not, let's not worry too much about it. Right, it's chugging along. I'm just double checking all the line settings. I'm fairly sure it's fine. Yeah, look at that. That's worked out really well. I like separation of uh, freight and passenger. Actually, not that expensive because track isn't that expensive in this game. There's my now useless waypoint. I think it'll come into use at some point. We'll leave that. And I'm hoping he's going to stop here and then I can turn him around. Is the wood waiting? Oh yes, you bet your bottom dollars there is. If he doesn't stop, I'll just turn around manually. He stops! Excellent! Uh, you're supposed to go to the sawmill now. Why not going to the sawmill? It's always worth checking your route. Yeah, I've done that wrong, if I. <laughs> so we're in Heerlen, I'll need to change that. Um, and I want to go to Dave to rest. And then this Dave to West can go. So here learn Dave to West and here we go out east. Excellent. So now you can go the other way. The trap is already working. He's waiting for the pummel to come by. So that's useful. We know that that works. Um, yeah. Off they go, these trees. Now this is going to take ages because this is, you know, in the end I bought this because it was cheap. I didn't buy it to get the trees over to uh, the sawmill in record speed, but that doesn't matter. It, it might look like it matters at the moment, it won't. Um, over the longer term this train is going to be quite profitable for us. Especially once I start pushing out these tools to Herugwaard and then add an extra freight line on the main line. And that might well be episode number three, because this has already been, I think, quite a long recording. I have all tapped out. Um, yeah, half an hour. Excellent. So, I am Dr. Plumber. I hope you enjoyed that. This was episode two. Next episode, we are going to be uh, building out the tools supply to all these other towns. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.